All right, all right, what's happening, everybody? This is Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at Saltwater Scale Model Studios. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, thought I'd give you a quick update on what I've been working on. Uh, I've made some progress here. I do have a few other things uh, in the uh, in the hopper, as you may say. Um, this is the 69 Chevy Nova SS 2-in-1 Special Edition by Ravel. Um, and, uh, yeah. Once again, it's sort of taken on a life of its own, so I'm just going to give you a quick rip through here. Let's start at the back. Um, the body I have cut off the top. I'm going to make it sort of a half top. I've got some interesting ideas for the interior, which you'll see, and a few other little tricks. Um, as far as the paint job, it's uh, still in early stages. I'm actually working on that right now. I just thought I'd stop for a minute and... and uh, uh, I make a quick video. I'm using the same sort of drip technique that I used on the shop car. Uh, I don't know if the light's doing it much justice. It's kind of shiny, but um, I am going to add a few more colors. Um, I'm basically using red and uh, orange or mandarin, and I'm going to add some white and uh, probably some yellow, maybe a little bit of gold. Try to try to give it my uh, uh, a little bit of um, uh, a flame effect to it um, it is going to be a low rider I'm going to drop it down um, so there's where we're at with the body um, the uh, the chassis is well underway I've actually Frankenstein these wheels from um, my cancer build from last year uh, you know um, you know, I'm glad I I'm glad I did the build, but uh, it's not necessarily one of the builds that I was going to keep in my in the, in a display case. So um, I have uh, taken the wheels off of that. I'm going to use this for the for the low rider um, underneath. Um, nothing too special, just pretty much box stock. Uh, you know, I distress the engine a little bit. Everything else is um, pretty much straight up. Uh, I did use a uh, Krylon matte finish on it, so no uh, no distressing. Um, but uh, you know, it took some time and uh, made sure I detailed the uh, uh, you know the underneath fairly well. Um, the engine here is uh looking pretty good so we're these are the sorry guys the stages we're in um, as far as the progress of this little sucker um these you know odds and ends here you see in front uh, obviously uh the firewall um nothing too uh, out of the ordinary just uh detailed it a little bit and took care of the took care of the pedals there uh, this little piece in front here for the interior um, is uh, just purplicious I did spray that actually I sprayed both I uh, I masked off everything else so I could spray the chrome on the uh, on the uh, um, you know door handles there now the, the fun part that I've been having here is the interior um, here, let me move this out of the way, guys. I used, you know me and my fabrics. Um, like I said, I want this sort of be a low rider, maybe pimped out a little bit. And uh, so I had this wonderful uh, sort of gray, shiny fabric that I uh, took the time and uh, put in there and cut it out fairly well. Um, I'm just using the uh, the box stock uh, uh, center console, and um, I don't know the actually the gear shift came from a different kit, uh, and I used some uh, some orange uh, once again some more fabric I had to, to put in the floorboard. So there we are, guys. Just want to do a quick uh, quick little video showing you where I'm at um, and uh, I do uh, I still I'm gonna do a little update on the uh, the shop car and uh, I've been working on a base for the uh, 
for the rat so that'll be coming up soon all right guys appreciate you guys checking in peace love happiness man um uh, appreciate all my subscribers you guys are great uh you know man build creatively build imaginatively keep having fun and uh you know i'll catch up with you soon peace